It was last July, my husband and I were talking about some of the financial difficulty. It got to a point to where what would come in would not be enough for the demand to go out. So we were desperate and my husband had to go finish some of his work and I came into the living room and sat down and I quietly said to the Lord, we need help. And I turned the TV on and Cornerstone was having family time. And he said, there's a woman watching. And he said, you're having doubt, you're feeling a little skeptical about what we're asking you to do. And then he talked about, you know, do it each month or whenever you can, sow a seed of $400. And then God started to talk to me. And that's when I heard him tell me to trust him, that if I would give a little from what I had, he would multiply it out of obedience because I'd be sowing into a ministry that was going to spread the Word of God, that was going to touch the hearts of the people. So I called and I sowed $99, which left me with $2.18. And from that time, I have seen the Lord provide. I made the payment and then I also got a phone call from my husband saying, that he received the promotion with an increase. And I believe it's because of obedience that God has multiplied our seed and blessed us. I had an unexpected medical bill come in. The debt that I owed for the birth of my last daughter, they cut 50% of it in half. So I have seen God move in ways that are unexplained, that are just by the hand of God through His grace, His mercy, and His favor for me and he tells us this is a place where we can test him test me and see if i won't pour out a blessing so much so you won't even be able to contain it so i think it's taking him at his word saying okay i choose to test you in this what has helped me in that i cannot rely upon my feelings because i know those are going to change I've been with me a long time, and I just know it's a matter of time before I'll get back into doubt. What has helped me is I focus on the character of God. He's long-suffering, He's loving, He's compassionate, and He is not a man that He should lie. When He gives His word, He keeps it, because that seed that I sowed into a ministry has far greater eternal purpose than I will ever be able to comprehend because I know what Cornerstone is doing is going to reach the broken, the lost, and the oppressed. It's going to be a powerful move of God. And I have a part in it.